Hello everyone, welcome to this session on front-end versus back-end technologies. Today in this session, we will be talking about web development, which basically has these two components, which is front-end development and back-end development. Now, web development has become a very important job skill in the current age of internet that we are dealing with. And in this session today, you will get a clarity between the two job roles that is front-end developer and back-end developer. But guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the IntelliPath channel and also click on that bell icon to never miss out on any updates from us. So now let's go ahead and get started with the agenda. So guys, first we'll move on and understand what is web development exactly, and then move on to discuss the difference between front-end development versus back-end development. After that, we'll be talking about the top programming languages which are required in these two domains, which is front-end and back-end. So guys, once you're done with that, we'll move on and talk about the various skills which are required by a front-end developer and a back-end developer respectively, and then move on to discuss the various frameworks that you have to learn for both these uh, technologies, which is front-end and the back-end. Once we're done with that, we'll move on and talk about the various job roles which are out there for both these technologies, which is front-end and back-end. And finally, we'll be talking about the salary which is basically offered to you once you start applying for a front-end developer with a specific skill set versus the back-end developer with a specific skill set. So guys, this is the agenda for this session. I hope it's clear to you. Now let's move on and start off with the first topic, which is introduction to web development. So to begin this comparison between front-end development and back-end development, let us take a quick introduction to what web development actually is. Um, when you think about it, web development is a very fast field, right? So when you're beginning to code a website, when you're beginning to design a website or when you're big, when you're beginning to, you know, work the logic of a website, we have three concepts that I just mentioned. One involves designing the website or what we call as the front end development. Then uh, there is the back end where we try to handle how the front end works, where the data is stored, uh, you know, handling data, managing data and all of this. This comes under back end development. And of course, uh, you know, we make use of JavaScript and so many other languages, tools, frameworks, whatever is available out there to drive the logic and bring together uh, this front end and back end in the situation of uh, creating, let's say, a website site or a web application as well. Now, if you're talking about a front-end developer's role or let's say a back-end developer's role, you might have a couple of questions, right? So you might be confused about which is the right one for you. So how do you choose between the front-end developer and uh, front-end development versus back-end development? Can you do both? You know, let's say you're interested in both front-end and back-end as you'll just see in a couple of slides. So what are, you, what are your options if that is the case? And then you might be wondering, hey, if I want to build a career uh, you know, in web development, what are the salary numbers like for, let's say, front-end development, back-end development, or in fact, both? So we're going to check out a lot of things uh, in this comparison. Uh, but then to generally lay it out for you guys, a front-end developer's role and a back-end developer's role, you know, as the name suggests, a front-end developer is mainly concerned with a lot of things such as theming the website, uh, you know, creating a basic layout, working with how the website should look like, uh, you know, driving what we call as driving the entire user interface and the user experience, right? So whenever you go on to any application or let's say any website, whatever you see, you feel, you interact with is all because uh, of a front-end developer's work. Because a front-end developer has the complete idea, the complete look ahead of what, uh, you know, the website should look like or the web application should look like. Uh, you know, sometimes it is kept very formal, very elegant. Other times it is very catchy and, you know, in touch with this generation so to speak uh, but at the end of the day it's a good balance between what looks good versus what is functional whenever we talk about a good website right so the front end giving the uh, giving the person who visits your website a good experience an easy way to interact with all the elements you know getting a quick couple of let's say news uh, you know even if it's an application a social media for example where uh, you know each social media has its own uh, uh, niche app uh, applications right so there as well uh, front end developer 
development is very very key and how all of these elements see it's not that the front end developer has complete control of uh, you know what needs to be shown how for example let's say there is many elements that the back end developer would uh, suggest the front end developer to show on the on the website and the presentation aspect how this uh, logic how this data how numbers can be presented let's say as a graph or anything in general on the website is also handled by a front end developer now when you talk about the back end development aspect of it you know there's a lot to do with uh, database handling because understanding how to use data maintain data and in fact display uh, you know certain aspects of data on the website as well is taken care by a back end developer and then when we talk about user handling right user handling is very important see for example you as a person can log into a website as a customer but then there has to be another user who is the provider right so not only that there's admins there's uh, you know handlers uh, then you have people with multiple level of security access to the website so not everyone has to have complete access of everything in the website right so you have to uh, dissect it and uh, depending on the users their capabilities their roles in fact while building the website you can of course uh, you know implement a user handling base as well and then when we talk about security of course in today's world security plays the most important role especially in the cyber space right so ensuring that your website is secure it is not susceptible to any sort of unauthorized access unauthorized attacks and more the backend developer also works with this particular aspect and i think it's very important uh, to think about this too and then when we think about how best you can uh, Uh, make your website to be very effective uh, very performance friendly very easy on the client's uh, internet let's say when you talk about website loading speed and all of that so all of these technicalities you know and other uh, and other concepts are taken care by the back end developer totally now if you're talking about a direct comparison between front end development versus back end development let us take a look at couple of points uh, we can begin with the first one where we'll compare the programming languages that are involved in these kinds of developments see for example front end development as i just mentioned is mostly used for visual development on the website whatever you see on the website is what uh, a front end developer designs i'm sure the idea is clear by now so three primary languages are used here for example html for the basic uh, you know skeleton of the website css is used for styling and of course a lot of frameworks and a lot of tools involving javascript such as you know react react is a very good framework are involved in the design of the front end of the website now when we think about back end development back end development is slightly complex because when we talk about it you have to have a lot of proficiency in languages such as node js which is again a flavor of javascript java ruby python php and a lot of other things right so if you remember database handling was a very important concept and of course you have to have certain familiarity with working you know and understanding a uh, sql server mysql and in fact the general sql versus no sql approach as well depending on whatever is being used in the project our uh, database handling is very important too now coming to the second point we have to talk about the skills that are required right so with front end development since visuals and aesthetics are the primary uh, requirement you will require a person who's skilled enough to let's say uh, you know create an elegant looking website a simple yet uh, attractive looking website also in most of the cases so using tools like photoshop sketch figma and all of these other tools which are involved in creating a user interface right so it's very important that a front end developer knows this and then when you think about a little extension to the front end developers domain or reach uh, you have to understand that uh, he or she needs to have the capability to know a little bit of basics about how web hosting works and how domain purchases work and all of these are added bonuses but then of course most of the front end developers that you would find uh, you know people who are proficient in this skilled in this certified in this or even uh, people who have some experience in web development will uh, know all of this so you good to go Now if you're talking about back end development right back end development is not only making sure that everything on the front end works but back end involves data storage data handling uh, you know lot of other things as well when you think about it implementing logic in my opinion is not as simple as creating a user interface of course both has its own challenges but to make sure that uh, you know your website runs effectively well designing the logic of it is very vital you know performing data analytics and testing and debugging are some of the most challenging tasks uh, in terms of back end development and to make sure your website or web application works very well as well so these are some of the skills of a back end developer 
Now with the third point, we'll check out what are the top frameworks that are available today for front-end and back-end development. Uh, see, there are multiple frameworks. If we have to talk about it, we can go on for, uh, in fact, hours together discussing each of them. But then to keep it very simple, you have to understand that there are there are very good front-end development frameworks such as, uh, uh, you know, there's Vue.js, we have jQuery, we have uh, Ember.js. Uh, jQuery is a classic one. Then, of course, we have React, Angular. There's just so many front-end development frameworks these days that will let you do a lot without you having to put much effort. That is the biggest advantage of these JavaScript frameworks guys and then when we talk about back-end development back-end development of course php being the primary language that is used you have a lot of flavors of php for example cake php laravel is a framework you have django uh you know from python you have flask which is another python framework then of course express.js spring boot and there's a lot of other frameworks which again have their own use cases right of course you can make use of a interchange and make use of a lot of these frameworks but at the end of the day uh, a framework is best suited for what it's built for. So that along with the usage of other frameworks and how well it will gel with your other tools and uh, frameworks, right? So that is something you have to take care uh, whenever you're working with and understanding the top frameworks aspect of backend development. Now then if you're talking about the average salary of developers, right? So front-end developers get an average salary of somewhere around $80,000 per annum in the US and around 6 lakhs per annum in India to begin with. Backend developers get a slightly higher uh, package in terms of $100,000 in the US per annum and about 9 lakhs per annum in India. As we have discussed couple in a couple of points previously, you might understand why there is a slight bump in salary for the backend developers because it takes that much work, that much proficiency and that much understanding of these concepts, uh, you know, to become proficient in terms of backend development, right? So we're not trying to say front-end development is easier, but... When you're talking about it in total, uh, you know, when you're giving it a third person's perspective, a backend developer's role will require a bit more of critical thinking. It will require a bit more of, uh, uh, you know, the word I would use is monkeying around uh, or around the website to make sure everything works as a role of a developer, a role of a tester, a role of a data analyst and all of these aspects. And you can see that the compensation is based on that as well. Now, coming to the fifth point in this comparison between front-end and back-end development, we have to talk about the variety of job roles that are available. See, there's uh, hundreds of designations available whenever we talk about web development in general. But to put it in a very simpler aspect, uh, front-end developers will have a lot of roles. You know, they can be uh, UI UX designers, UI UX uh, uh, experts, web designers, front-end engineers, front-end developers. And when you think about it, the roles goes on and on, guys. And it's very similar for backend as well. See, backend developer uh, can be called as a backend developer, of course, a software developer, a backend engineer. Sometimes, even uh, you know, even if you're wondering, they can be called as a full stack developer because they might have clarity on how their backend works with uh, you know most of the front end development techniques out there as well. So, if they're very proficient with backend development, uh, there's a very good chance. Let's say a 50-50 percent chance that they're also proficient in understanding or working with at least one or two front-end web, uh, web development frameworks as well. So there is another slight advantage in terms of, let's say, job hunt or, in fact, uh, just in terms of knowledge and understanding and building your career as well. Now, you might have this question saying, uh, you know, what is easier to learn? What can I pick up first or, let's say, what can I get started with? See, front-end development, in my opinion, is definitely easier to get started with if you're a beginner or if you're a person coming from another domain or if you're, let's say, a person who just graduated from college and you want to get started with web development because you love web development. Front-end development is very easy because at the end of the day, it will not involve a lot of direct programming techniques. You really don't have to get your head down and start writing a lot of code to get a lot of things done. Front-end development is a concept where, uh, you know, you do little, but then at the end of the day, it, it looks great. It looks like you've put in hours and hours and hours of work. But at the end of the day, it's easier to do it with all of the, uh, you know, top frameworks of today. With backend development, that's not the case. You have to have proficiency at least in one or two programming languages and you will require a plethora of other skills to get started with as well. So if I have to pick whatever is easier to begin with, guys, at this point of time, I would definitely suggest uh, you get started with front-end development. But then of course, hey, uh, this is a very big domain. You might have interest towards database handling or the backend in general as well. If that is the case, then of course, uh, you know, it is, it is never impossible to start with either of these. 
these, right? So let's say with a good certification program, you can become proficient in either of these or in fact both of these, uh, which we'll just discuss. But yeah, it all depends on what you want to do, guys. Uh, so if you're talking about job offerings as our seventh point in this comparison, I've just given a quick comparison to check out the openings of jobs, right? So for front-end developers, there are around 8,000 job openings in the USA and around 4,000 job openings in India, uh, you know, amongst this pandemic that is going on. Now, back-end developers have a, there, there is a slightly higher requirement for back-end developers with 11,000 job openings in the US and around 5,000 job openings uh, in India. So probably this number is high for back-end developers as it requires a good amount of work. And usually whenever there is a website being built, it always starts with a back-end developer giving the basic foundation, the basic logic, and then working on basically putting a front-end over it and, uh, you know, making it look nice, make, giving it functionality and adding it value as well. So that could be one of the reasons why a back-end developer's role uh, can be seen to be a bit more popular in terms of job of offerings. Now we have to talk about a full stack development for a while because guys, when you think about it, you can do both, right? Full stack development is a combination of front end development and back end web development as well. So one very important thing you must understand is, uh, you know, is it very complicated to do both? The answer to that is a straight no, guys, because, uh, you know, when you think about it from the previous decade to this decade, full stack development is one among the top jobs, the top careers to have. So uh, there is a reason for this, right? So one is because there is a demand for full stack uh, developers across the globe. The second thing is that now with all of these uh, elegant and easy to use JavaScript frameworks, you can do both. You know, you can put in your set amount of time and you can put in good amount of effort to be proficient in both front-end and back-end development. Uh, you know, apart from the usual stuff, full-stack developers are responsible for creating, uh, you know, APIs, uh, components, and other uh, services which are very vital in the working of your front-end and back-end as well. So at the end of the day, a full-stack development's role, in case if you're interested with both, you know, it is definitely something you should check out. And in my opinion, it is very much worth uh, to explore before you begin uh, your journey as a front-end developer or a back-end and developer as well. Now with this, you will have a question about which should you choose? See, this is a very difficult question to answer because it all depends on you and your interests. If you like designing, if you like aesthetics, if you like creating visuals and, you know, giving out user experiences, creating good uh, user interfaces, then of course, there is no doubt a front-end developer's role uh, will be very elegant to you, attractive to you and will be a lot of fun. But let's say if you're very much a person uh, like me who's a geek, geek when it comes to data, when it comes to algorithms, or let's say, you know, co optimizing a very complex system, then a backend developer's job will be very attractive to you. If you're a numbers guy, if you're a person who wants to build the basic framework, the basic logic, understand how it is, you want to test that logic later, implement it, then make sure that all of these goes on aesthetically uh, on your website, then a backend developer's job is something you guys uh, should should definitely consider. So at the end of it, head to the comment section and do let us know what your preferred uh, web development career path. Is it front-end development? Is it back-end development? Or of course, full-stack development. With this, you've come to the end of this quick comparison in between front-end development and back-end development. I hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one.